Hello and welcome back to my channel Iraqi Dinar Digest. On Monday, Mazhar Mohammad Saleh, the financial and economic advisor to the Iraqi Prime Minister, provided insights on the recent resurgence of the US dollar exchange rates against the Iraqi dinar in the local markets. Saleh clarified that Iraq's fixed exchange rate system is underpinned by the highest international reserves in the country's history, coupled with a robust monetary policy. Currently, foreign currency reserves cover over 100% of total exports. Sale emphasized that the strength of the official central exchange market means that fluctuations in the parallel market's exchange rate of the dollar to the dinar have minimal impact on the overall price stability. The exchange rate has stabilized at 1,320 dinars per dollar for funding foreign trade, imports and this stability is reflected in the external value of the dinar, with the annual inflation rate for goods and services remaining below 3%, he explained. He further noted that with foreign reserves exceeding $100 billion in liquid foreign assets, the official exchange market will continue to mitigate any disturbances or misinformation in the parallel market caused by sudden international or regional political events or regulatory adjustments in the cash market. Saylor highlighted that since the prohibition of dollarization in domestic transactions, particularly in contracts, obligations, and payments within Iraq, the parallel exchange market's influence has been limited to a narrow economic scope of prohibited transactions in non-regular markets. These transactions account for only 10% of the total currency supply and demand. He affirmed that the stability of the dinar exchange rates against the dollar even in secondary markets, is genuine and well established. This stability results from the effective integration of monetary and financial policies in maintaining overall price stability and controlling inflationary expectations previously driven by parallel market forces. Saleh concluded by stating that the secondary market, due to the freedom of external transfers, is increasingly influenced by the official exchange market rate which continues to expand its operations to favor dealings at the fixed official exchange rate.